Welcome to our lecture online and here we have our first example where we're going to use the method of elimination. Now we shouldn't have to be told to use the method of elimination because when we take a look we notice that one of the variables, in this case y, has the same numerical coefficient and one being negative and one being positive. That are already takes care of the first two steps we would normally take. Look for a variable that has the same numerical coefficient and then make the signs opposite. It's already in that format. And then the third step, we simply add the two equations to eliminate, eliminate that particular variable. Notice also that if you can't find a variable like that, let's say that they were not the same numerical coefficient and neither was the x variable, then you should make them first the same. So what you do then is you multiply both of the equations or maybe one of the two equations to give it a particular number to match up with the numerical coefficient of the other equation. But in this case we don't have to do it and we shouldn't have to be told to use method of elimination. Uh, yep, elimination method, method of elimination, uh, in order to solve this particular problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the two equations together. And so here we get 2x plus 3x which is 5x, negative y plus y that is 0 equals 18 plus 2 equals 20. So we end up with 5x equals 20, then we divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 4. Now once we've determined one of the variables, to get the other variables, we need to plug that into one of the two equations, and I'm going to plug it into that equation. So then we come back over here, and we get 3 times, but instead of x, we're going to write 4 plus y equals 2, that means 12 plus y equals 2. Now we move the 12 to the other side. We get y equals 2 minus 12, or y equals negative 10. Oh, I said negative 10, I wrote positive 10. A little quick on the draw there. There we go. So we have x equals 4 and y equals negative 10. Now, we used this equation to get the value for the second variable. A way to then test to see if you did it correctly is to take those two values and plug them into the other equation to see if that makes that equation come out correctly. So that's the way to do the check. And so we take the other equation which we didn't use to find the value for y. So we get 2x minus y equals 18 and now we plug x equals 4 and y equals negative 10 to see if the left side will equal the right side. So we get 2 times 4 minus y, which is a negative 10, is that question mark equal to 18. So here we get 8 minus times the minus, which is plus 10, equals 18, and sure enough, 18 equals 18. Of course, these are all question marks, but finally we realize, yes, they are. So we now know that we did the problem correctly, and that is how it's done. As a comparison, should I use the other method? I'm going to do some examples using the other method, so I think we're good. With these two problems, you can use any other method. Too. You can use any of the other seven methods, that's right. And you always I get the same. Use the roll <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't like that one. <laughs>